Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lainey. Today we're going to be doing a fun like casual video of just kind of going through my summer 2023 wish lists. Wish list items that I want to buy uh, that maybe I would buy if I was doing more this summer and just kind of like trends that I'm really into right now that maybe aren't you know like super popular but I'm into them so let's do it. Uh, I just wanted to be super cozy so I've got my bloom greens that I'm drinking today. This is the mango flavor. I'm always drinking the mango flavor. It's my favorite. Start the video with a big chug. You know what these taste like? I feel like when you finally get the ratio right, it tastes like the uh, matcha lemonade from Starbucks and I literally love the matcha lemonades in the summer so I've been trading out like one iced coffee of the day for for my bloom greens make me feel better about eating DoorDash for every meal I love it for just like a little boost of energy so thank you bloom for sponsoring this video let's get into my wish list so some of these things I plan on buying some of them I probably won't buy. And then some of them I've already bought on whatnot. <laughs> okay, my first thing that I'm really liking is more of a trend that I can't find exactly what I want yet, but I'm super into like mod dresses. I have these two dresses that I'm so obsessed with and I think they're so cute for like bridal showers, baby showers, those kind of things with like a pair of kitten heels or slingbacks. But I think with like tennis shoes, you can wear it more day to day or like your fry campus boots if you're into that trend, your cowboy boots, Doc Martens if you still love those. Who doesn't still love Doc Martens? Very, very cute and can be styled so many different ways. And it's just this high neck, uh, like wider strap tank on the top. And then it flows out to a little A-line dress. So I love those. I've been loving those. But what I'm really excited for and what I really want to have in conjunction to those is like the tunic style of it. I can find these on eBay, but they're like not the pattern I want. I, I need to like create my own. I need to figure out how to sew again because <laughs> I totally forgot and make one that way because I think like a super, it's almost like a super tiny dress, but it's a tunic, so it's technically a top, and then pairing it with a matching pair of shorts. I'll try and find like my used examples I found. I'm almost into like a peplum. My camera's gonna die. My camera was so distraught by me saying I like peplum again, or peplum. So if you guys tune into my live uh, whatnot shows, I talked about how I kind of like a peplum, and it's not like the like tulip, very abrupt peplum. It's more of a cut like that peplum. Uh, I feel like this goes into me really liking baby doll style tops, not just because I was pregnant and hiding it from you guys. I really do like a baby doll top or like, you know, an empire waist top or dress. And then the peplum is more of like the fitted, elegant, elevated look of that. So dare I say I like peplums, but in a very specific way. I also think that you could do the peplum with like a tunic peplum top with a pair of matching pants. And just like matching sets are so my vibe. They're so easy to put together. You don't have to think about it. And they don't feel like you're trying too hard because it's like, oh, she just bought that set and like she knows what she's doing. <laughs> that was a long winded one, but I'm really into mod style dresses and sets, tunics and peplum. That's all in one. And I can't find any that like are exactly what I want. So I've just been waiting and searching and now I'm sure some of you guys will search too and steal them, from, which is fine. I don't need them. With that kind of like tunic short set, I really into like short shorts, but not jean short shorts and not like low waisted Daisy Duke short shorts. I like like my little bloomers I have that I style all the time and pairing that with a baggy t-shirt or a baby doll top, a baggier top. Even like a baby tee is cute. I just don't know if I'm there yet to like confidently wear that day to day But day to day I will wear short shorts and I think they're super cute um, I've seen a lot of people wearing like more athletic like spandex type of short shorts and like yoga shorts When pink would do the yoga shorts with the fold over top like that's really cute, too So styling short shorts depending if you have a more athletic type or like a bloomer vintagey feel type styling either pair with like tennis shoes or like 
actual sneakers or again like knee high boots like a riding type boot a moto type boot i know moto boots are so in from like the Mew Mew buckle boots i'm gonna have to add so many photos of what i'm talking about because like this is the thing the reason these are on my wish list video is because they don't exist yet in the way i want them to like fast fashion brands haven't hopped on it yet and like i can't i don't know how to search it for or find it secondhand or if i do find it secondhand it's just like not right my next thing are sundresses like girl i just find myself gravitating towards my two sundresses i have so often and the reason i only have two now is because my body is different from breastfeeding i have two sundresses that fit and i literally wear them every other day one's literally a romper they're both from urban outfitters funny enough and i've never been someone to shop on thread up but i've been looking for sundresses and why is every sundress like 100 bucks and i know the ones i bought from urban were 100 bucks but i like wore the crap out of them but I like almost like an old trendy style of a sundress, whether it's like baby doll or midi or just like a little A-line dress. So to find those on like thread up is really easy and just to be able to search uh, Urban Outfitter as a brand or even like Hollister and Abercrombie are really good brands for that reformation if you want something like fancy. So sundresses I'm so into just because they're so easy. And again, if you have like a super short sundress, adding a pair of little vintage like ruffle bloomers underneath, the like A6 running shorts, depending on the style, I think can just be so cute. It's like matching sets I'm so into. Okay, something else that I find myself like gravitating towards are slingback kitten heels, but with a chunky heel, which is so funny because I have not liked a chunky heel a couple years now. I always want like a stiletto and I still love a stiletto. Like I have these. My mom took my little Dior kitten heels finally to a cobbler to get fixed. It was $12 to fix them but they were like, we didn't do a really good job because they're just like kind of complicated. Second time I put them on, these shoes are cursed. Mom, I don't know what we're gonna do. But okay, wait, wait, I was talking about these because I still love like this type of a sling back with a stiletto heel, but that's so much more of like a fancier outfit. And I find myself struggling with like, I just always throw on my Sambas. Or if I throw on like my loafers, sometimes they can feel a little bit too winter time because I got rid of my brown ones and I only have my black ones now. And I'm like, why didn't I get rid of my brown ones? But a sling back chunky in heel, I think would be so cute with a pair of like your short shorts and the baby doll like flare out top or like your little matching mod set to kind of dress it down or even pairing your little kitten heels with a sundress with like denim shorts. To me, like it's the same as like a ballet flat because a chunky heel can be so comfortable. So I found this pair on Caitlin Pan. I have my like fake Mew Mews from Caitlin Pan that I've like styled in a full video. I know what I say about dupes, but don't listen to anything I say. I'm a big fat liar and I am a hypocrite, but these are like obviously supposed to be like the Chanel ones. They're just so cute and like simple and I, I feel like I want them. But what I'm trying to be better at in <laughs> like shopping because i haven't shopped for myself in honestly a fat minute is buying more of those like basic pieces that you wear every single day because i feel like i have so many going out tops now if you watched my last video i literally like don't like my clothes <laughs> because i feel like they're all like old laney and i have a new life now and like isn't that okay to grow up and like want to, like dress different i like took so long to really sit on it and be like I actually never ever ever have anything to wear because I'm missing like these kind of pieces so I want to do that haul for you guys like everything's from whatnot and I can show that and like hopefully style them so let me know if you guys are interested in that video um that's really all I'm like craving for in my closet so not too many things for a wish list video but that's not really how it goes for me if you like this kind of video, definitely check out Suzy Lola on YouTube. She kind of inspired this video of just like talking through stuff she likes and I really liked the format of it. It's like super comfy cozy. Let me know what you guys are loving in the comments because honestly, I need some inspo. I feel like Pinterest right now is just like, I hate it <laughs> for outfit inspo. Suzy Lola, oh my God, like I'm her number one stan. I can't stop talking about her. She also talked about this app called Styles. She was actually sponsored by them, but I'm not. I downloaded it because of her and it's like real people posting their outfits. I was getting a lot more inspo off that. 
opposed to Pinterest where everything is see-through lace, butt cheeks out, and like 17 belts on, and stilettos day to day. Like, you know, like I can't get actual inspo from that because I'm not dressing like that. So yeah, the style's out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are loving, what you guys have been wearing, because again, I need inspo. Let me know where you guys are getting inspo because I just feel like in a rut right now, set, and I don't even have that, so. That's it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Remember to check out Bloom. The link's in the description box to shop. I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.